Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to delete data from admin panel. So before getting started with the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be getting a notification on it. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get into the video. So in previous video, I have done the updation part. So here you can see if you have not yet watched that video, do watch it. So here, let's open our code. Inside, let us first tell local post admin index. So here we have done till edit and update also is done. So when I click on update, you can see data updated successfully. Now we'll be working with the deletion part. So let's get started with that here inside index.php when you scroll you can see here the table head so inside table head we'll add one header which is delete and here inside table body we have looped for edit right similar way we have to copy paste once again for delete so here what you will do is just remove this and then rename this to delete now let's go reload now you got one delete button here so here what we'll do is we'll change the color to danger here now when i click on this delete it has to take the id and delete the data so for that what you have to do is here let me cut this and tell form of post and paste it here here inside of anchor tag we'll use a button so tell this as button okay and give a class btn btn primary button small you can just use this class as well and what else you can tell this cut this paste it here remove this anchor tag and here you can tell type as submit type is equal to submit okay so once this button is clicked we have to give the name for the button let us do that also so name is equal to delete button so i have given the name as delete button so once this button is clicked it will go to action which is code.php with the post method so let us copy this so before this we need the id right we need the id of this particular user then only we will be able to delete that particular user's data to get the id what we can do is we can just create an input tag here here if you see we have already fetched the id so we can just use the id here value is equal to just this id copy and paste it so for now i am just leaving it with the text itself later we have to hide it because these things are not shown actually this id and all will be used internally later we lied for now for understanding purpose i've just kept it as text itself for this also we have to give one name so let's give this as id or you can tell this as user id user id and yeah that's it now give a form control class form control now you can just go and reload so here you can see on top of this delete we are getting that particular user's id as well so using this id we'll be deleting the thing is we should not be showing this here okay so this thing will be hidden for now, I'm just showing for the understanding purpose. So make sure uh, when you are doing, you don't give that as text. Make the type to hidden. Okay. Later, I'll be hiding. Once after writing the code and checking the output, I'll be hiding this. So when I click on this delete button, it has to take that ID number 7 and delete the data. So here, let's go back. So when I click on this delete button, copy, it will go to code.php with the post method. So let's go to code.php here. Let us tell if is set of dollar post of that button. When that button is clicked, 
I am taking the ID, right? So ID is equal to dollar post of go to index post of ID. So what is the name that I have given? User ID. So copy this user ID and go to code.php and paste this. So this particular dollar post is coming from this input tag of name attribute. Okay. So yes now we'll write the query for the deletion so delete query is equal to delete from the table name so the table name is admin panel so copy this admin panel and paste it here delete from admin panel where id is equal to this dollar id copy paste add a semicolon now let's give a run query delete query run is equal to using mysqli query function connect your database as well as pass this dollar query variable copy paste add a semicolon now using an if condition we'll just show the message if this query is working fine then using session right so here we are using alertify let's copy this session from the above code copy paste it here and here let us tell data deleted successfully and the success message so if this is not working fine, let us copy this error and paste it in else part. Data deletion failed. Okay. And error. Return back to insert. Return back. Both has to be in index. Okay just change that that's it let us go test our code now go back reload and i'm gonna delete this user 7 let me click on this delete button here you can see data deleted successfully i'm getting that message and the data is deleted here let's go check our database as well so this is a database let us reload here you can see user number 7 is deleted so this is how you delete a data from the database. Previously I told that uh, I'll be hiding this ID, right? So for that, what you have to do is go to index. Here you have input tag, right? Just make this type to hidden. That's it and that ID will be hidden. So hidden and let's go reload. So it's hidden now. Let me change the color of that delete button to danger and reload so now whenever i click on delete button the data is getting deleted and the id is hidden and yeah that's it in this video i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt or suggestion do let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you guys in the next video